today, Minnesota Railroad officials strongly oppose a bill at the legislature toughening up rail safety laws, calling it unnecessary. That bill would greatly expand rail safety requirements. It would also require railroads to provide more detailed information and more quickly about trains carrying hazardous materials like oil. Pat Kessler's at the Capitol right now. Pat, this is sure a hot issue. You've been talking about it and letting us know about this for a while now. Yeah, a couple of years, and it's still a very hot issue here. Minnesota expanded rail safety laws in 2015, and the railroads say we don't need any new ones right now. State emergency officials, though, today made an extraordinary plea to state lawmakers to toughen up the laws so the railroads will give them more information, detailed information, in case there's a disaster. Emergency managers say they need to know what railroads are carrying and what the plan is for a dangerous derailment like this one in Callaway, Minnesota, two weeks ago. One top emergency official was openly frustrated. This is what I got in the first four pages of the emergency response plans. And he wasn't the only one. The emergency director in Minnesota's largest county also says railroads aren't giving him specifics that he needs to plan for catastrophic train derailments. I'm very nervous about having them happen in a highly concentrated area with populations uh, at risk. Railroads say Minnesota train derailments are actually down from 88 in 1990 to 28 in 2015, telling lawmakers there's no reason to more than double the number of inspectors from four to nine. So this strikes me as like doubling the size of your police force after crime has been reduced by two thirds. One railroad representative went further, scheduling a private meeting with emergency officials and telling state lawmakers to butt out. We're going to have the conversation. You all are not invited, so if you don't mind, we'll just uh, get on with that. But emergency officials say they'll back tougher state laws to force railroads to give them more info before an emergency. Your community emergency managers need to know what's under this black spot. Well, Minnesota does have 4,000 miles of railroad track. That's number six. Six most in the entire country, and it's a major carrier, of course, of these oil trains from the Bakken oil fields in North Dakota. Frank and Amelia, this is still going to be very, very tough because the federal officials say oil traffic is going to increase, not decrease, in the next few years. Well, I know we'll hear a lot more. Pat, we appreciate the heads up today. Yep.